All right, we're back with yet another motor on the run stand. This happens to not be one of my usual yard pulls. I decided to cruise classified, see what kind of deals that were out there, and I found this. So this is a, I believe a 2002-2003 LM7 with supposedly a BTR Stage 2 cam. So I don't have much info on it, don't know mileage, really don't know much. I got it as a bare long block, but what I want to do is open up the valve covers, see what we can inspect, see what we can find, prime it, put fuel in it, see if it runs. So the problem obviously with buying used engines rather than me pulling them myself is I don't get to see and know, you know, the uh, source vehicle. So there are a couple things here I can tell kind of what year this is. It has 10 millimeter bolts in the valley pan, which means it's at least an 03 and down. And then there is a casting number right here on the early iron block. So it says B272. I believe B is February 27 is the 27th day and two is 2002. And then you've got the shift number there. So that means probably 2002, 2003 uh, LM7. Doesn't really matter much since LM7s are the entirely the same from 99 all the way to 06, 07. I was told that along with the camshaft, this thing does supposedly have LS6 blue valve springs. So I'll check on those now. And then this valley pan bolt is really, or valve cover bolt super bent, so I'll swap that out. All right, so it's actually really clean here. And yeah, look at that. You can see all the blue that's barely left. So these are supposedly the 550 valve lift springs. I forget the exact, I can look it up and I'll put it in. I think, I know, I think these are like 300 pound. So, um, and very, yeah, very clean. Apparently the motor was, the heads were off, the heads were redone. So that's a good sign. So I haven't made any changes to the run stand since I've used it. Uh, every time I film with it, I usually do something else. The next thing it really needs is more gauges and more wiring. I finished the wiring on the Firebird. That was like the main project I was doing. I was gonna use a lot of that excess onto this. So I wanna get water temp, uh, RPM, oil pressure. So when I prime these motors up and actually get an oil pressure, I think what I'm gonna do is not mess with this. I don't want that to start leaking. I'm just gonna, I filled it full of oil. I'm just gonna spin it over. And as soon as we see some sort of oil or see anything, uh, we'll then put plugs in it and fuel in it. But so let's go ahead and crank it. <laughs> that's got that's got really good oil pressure so that's cool that's the first time i've actually had one squirt like that <laughs> jesus <laughs> right so we got ignition system hooked up we got water in it we got fuel in it i've got the fuel primed you can hear my little fuel pump now so i guess i should have said it earlier the btr stage 2 truck cam is a 212 218 super common uh size comps made it for a long time so it has Assuming this is like a 112 lobe surfaction angle, I don't know what it is. It should, I think it has around negative nine degrees of overlap at 50, which means we should be able to hear something. It shouldn't sound like a bone stock 5.3. Assuming this thing runs at everything, I can technically take this thing off. I can pull the back cover off and then see the back of the cam and then, you know, figure it out. But uh, we'll figure that out once it runs. But so yeah, now it's just make sure I plug everything in and fire it up. So fuel pump on. Prime that. Sounds a little noisy. You could probably hear it on camera. So this bank seems a little smoky. Uh, I'll, I'll let it cool down and then warm it back up, see what it is. And then also I wanna grab a water bottle and do a header test. It's a little shaky, but I think cause it's got its little baby cam. Water bottle, good, 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 good. Go to the other side. 
Good, 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 good. All right, yeah, so we got all, we got all eight. So this is where it'd be kind of good to have a tack because I can't really tell where it's running, but so let's fire it up again. I'm gonna guess that's like 600, but yeah, you can definitely hear a mild cam. definitely got some sort of lope to it and I've got it idling down pretty low that valve train noise went away I find that when I find when I fire up motors on my run stand they've usually been upside down and they haven't had oil in them so they usually take a couple of start cycles to like really prime up but yeah the valve train noise is completely gone it's got a lot of throttle response, but it also, uh, I've got a, just a flex plate. Normally I put my uh, heavier flywheel on to make it more like a regular car, but this is just a uh, five pound stock flex plate. Yeah, it sounds good. I just don't like that. Uh, I don't like that. All right, so we let it cool off a little bit. I made sure it's firing at all these cylinders, check the plug and everything. Everything seems fine. Uh, I think I'm just gonna run it, idle it, and uh, hope, it clears, hope it clears up. sound test too so now we're open headers you can hear what only a 212 218 cam sounds like like I said it's I assuming it's a 112 this is negative 9 degrees of overlap at 50 the Firebirds cam is positive 10 the El Camino's cam is positive 7 and then the red motor is positive 20 so really not that much overlap but you know everything sounds pretty gnarly open headers back on. Alright, one last time for good measure. Yeah, this thing cleared up really nice. All right, so I think we're about done here. So this engine is in fact for sale. Uh, this is a good opportunity to actually get an Iron 5.3 from me. I mostly do Iron 6.0s because they all cost the same for me in the yard and then my profit margins are much higher. So 
Iron 5.3s, pretty rare for me to actually be reselling. So this is for sale as is, obviously without all the stuff on top. What I might do though, is I've got this thing. So this is my L33, it's uh, from an old video. Uh, we found it in the yard, found it in the core bin. What I think I might do, if someone doesn't want this thing set up with the heads, the cam, whatever's in it, what I might do is pull the heads with the valve springs and pull the cam and put them in this motor. And then if somebody wants another Iron 5.3, I can technically put like the stock L33 cam in this thing. That's a 193, 193. So a little bit bigger than what would have come in it. I'll grab another set of stock 706 heads, but I definitely want, I want stuff of this to move, you know, so I can do stuff with other engines, get more 6.0s, you know, go to the yard more. But yeah, so definitely if you're interested in anything of mine, whether it be Illumina 5.3, Iron 6.0, Iron 5.3, uh, iron you know, whatever. Uh, definitely contact me.